Hi, my lovely people. Y'all, we're going to jump right into this one. Oh, ain't she up to her old ways again? Is Olivia up to her old ways? Now, let me tell y'all something. I think it is freaking hilarious what Olivia is pulling out here in the YouTube streets, right? Because, see, a lot of reactors was like, oh, look at her. She might be changing. Oh, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. She might just be. No, nah, it wasn't no might just be nothing. Everybody was dick riding Olivia because they wanted her to, you know, Dropped the tea on Jasmine and wanted to do this and wanted to do that. But see, I'm happy that Storm stuck to uh, what she does best, knowing that someone is full of horse dung, right? Because all Olivia did was prove that she was full of crap, all right? This girl that went back to the archives from once upon a time when she had hair, before she was a bald-headed scallywag, ain't got no hair in the back, ain't been to go get that stuff lined up, tapered up or nothing, it's all uneven, got bald spots and everything, but that's not what the reaction is about, so we gonna keep on going. So Olivia drops a video and she wants to label it, I'm gonna show AJ's face, sis, stop worrying, or something along the lines of that. I don't know if she was trying to throw shade at Jasmine, but it seems like it was right because when she recorded this video all it did was prove a few things number one you have no content if you got to go back into the archives once upon a time when you were able to get your kids when you lived in your old house when you once had hair then that lets me know you have no content but baby what <laughs> what i really caught is funny right was that when she did this vlog, she stood in the kitchen frying that dry ass chicken and was talking about the live that Jasmine went on where she was like, I'm not bothered. I don't care. I'm not bothered. So Olivia, now it is you versus you, right? It's you versus you over there because you claimed you weren't bothered when she went on that panel and did not stand up for you. But you had went and recorded a whole video that you are now using to my you know, people are weird. I tried to join a panel with my home girl and they was talking to me all crazy. And you don't know what mood I was in. I was blessing y'all with Olivia's presence in an interview from Olivia. What, this is my thing. What does it bless anyone's platform when Olivia or Jasmine steps on it? Can you tell me? Yeah, I had Jasmine on mine and we got 15,000 views. We had a lot of people in the chat. But let me just say one thing. Olivia, the people that y'all keep calling into is doing nothing for their platform. Honey, they not even monetized. So the fact that you have to uh, talk about, well, I don't know why Jasmine going on the platform that don't even got a thousand subscribers. But girl, you was trying to get up there too. You was trying to get up there and get your dibs in because you wanted to be seen. You wanted to be heard. You wanted to be noticed. But baby, it backfired. <laughs> It backfired. Instead, you look like a fool. People rolled you up in the carpet, and then they dissed and dismissed you. So when I watched, and I'm thinking, for someone who's not bothered, then why would you stand to make a whole vlog about it, huh? Hmm? Why would you stand in the kitchen with your stomach and your cantaloupe swinging and dangling and flipping all around, getting popped by grease and everything else, and make a whole video talking about it? And then it's really, really funny and fishy to me that right now you're going to release it see that's the problem with olivia everything that she says always just smacks her back in the face and the truth comes out because honey if i wasn't bothered i wouldn't have stood there frying chicken talking about it for a very long time then i wouldn't have held on to the vlog to drop it when i know there was no content and the street is dry so girl somebody needs to get out here and tell the truth okay because you were big bothered by it you called jasmine you told her you were bothered by it and then jasmine like the jasmine fashion that she is she got out here and made a video and was kissing your behind and apologizing to you and you liked it you liked that she was graveling you liked that she was bothered you liked it all because for someone like you who stay bothered you like when you think somebody's kissing your behind okay and now let's get on to it right let's talk about this uh you can see aj and it was really a baby doll duh duh olivia is never going to show that baby i don't think she has the right to show that baby i'm still stuck over here that this is not her baby i don't think it's to be shown on camera and one thing that i catch real fishy and real funny anytime we hear aj bumping or bouncing around stella is always in the background see she was trying to hide stella you see how she moved the uh, camera so fast so that y'all didn't get to see stella in that video but when Ryan was hiding under the high chair, she was like, I found you, Ryan. Then you clearly hear Stella in the background. Oh, you found her, mommy. Yeah. So somebody needs to tell me why every time your children 
um, are there, um, you know, baby ghosts. And then we have uh, Gerard's children. Every time they're there, their grandma has to be there. Any other time we don't hear of Stella, Stella done took the baby to Florida. Stella done went on vacation. Stella's clicking her boots in a different state or county or whatever. But every time the kids are around, Stella is there. Is those supervised visits, Olivia? You mean to tell me that you out here giving Jasmine advice. Jasmine is a piss poor excuse for a mother. Let me just say that. But she do got custody of her children for now. She does have them whenever she wants to. And she can do what she want to do with them, even though she don't do good with them. But you mean to tell me that you was giving somebody advice uh, and you don't have custody of your children and you have to have supervised visits. And now you done trekked halfway across the world because those visits have ended? Girl, please. Girl, boo. Mm -mm. Something ain't adding up here, y'all. I'm going to tell you, it's getting real fishy. Both of them are throwing out old content. Both of them are being real, real, you know, oh, quiet. Let me let me keep quiet. Let me see what the next person going to do. It's really, really giving me some kind of feeling or vibe about the two of them. And we'll react or, you know, get everybody's opinions on that a little bit later. We just wanted to talk about Olivia. And honey, I hope that you keep on uh, putting out all these old videos because guess what? There ain't going to be no new videos with those kids in there. And wait till these paperwork's come out, honey. Wait, just wait. Because see, your subscribers, they've been waiting. To, you know, you've been saying, I'm going to tell the story of me. I'm going to tell the story of my kids. Y'all don't know what's going on. You even said in this video, oh, people think it's so funny that I don't have my kids and da, da, da. It is. It's funny. But let me tell you why it's funny. I don't want no mother to ever be without their kids. But see, Olivia got on this internet for about five or six months when she moved and she kept Gerard away from, her, uh, you know, his children. And she was saying, oh, he don't pay for nothing. I pay for everything. He ain't going to get to see these kids. Nisha ain't going to never be around these kids. He ain't got it like that. He ain't this. He ain't that. He ain't got no money. He ain't this. He ain't that. He's a coward. Remember all that? So, yeah, it was mighty funny when he came and hit you with the one-two punch and he took the kids. Now, this is my question. Since you're so worried about Jasmine, what are you going to tell your kids was the reason that you moved back to Florida? What are you going to tell your kids that everything here on the Internet that you put out was more important than them? Huh? How are you going to explain this? I guess we'll have to keep watching to see, right? But I'm telling you, it's something going on over here with between these two that just ain't adding up. But I wanted to check in and let y'all know that I seen Olivia's old clickbaiting title, old no content having, old cantaloupe swinging, dangling down to the ground tail. And we're going to keep on watching and waiting to see what comes out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see you guys in the comments below.